Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read them dramatically back to you, giving it funny voices and turning it into a motion movie with music and everything cool. Today we're going to be continuing our storyline of Deadpool, written by Daniel Way. And in this storyline, Deadpool is tired of being alive. And when we last left off, he cured himself. Now, curing himself got rid of his mutant healing factor, and it seemingly cured his cancer situation and it corrected his face, making him a pretty boy again. So now that he's completely cured, what is he gonna do with this? In our last video, Deadpool went out of his way to find a bunch of heroes and villains and make them duke it out so that he could finally become mortal. The plan obviously had its issues, but Bob pulled through and injected Deadpool with a serum that would make him lose his healing factor. Now with his good looks, Deadpool sets out to do the one thing that he's never been able to do before, live his life. As he wakes up from another nightmare, he screams, STOP LOOKING AT ME! And he begins to realize that he has a face like any other man, and he should probably start taking care of it, and that means having a morning shave. Deadpool begins to pick up his razor and he stares at it for a moment, thinking that he can't remember the last time that he used one of these. So, halfway through and several cuts later, Deadpool decides that he wears a mask for a reason, so better go put that on. As he eats his morning burrito, he tells himself that he's feeling confident, like he's reached an all-time high. The Merc with the Mouth is back, baby! And that means killing some people who really deserve it! Later in the North Sea, Modok gathers the members of his intelligentsia to discuss what they've always talked about. World domination! The only problem is that neither he nor the others have an actual plan of how this is going to work. Trapster tells Modok not to worry, he can always count on him. Everyone looks at Trapster and begins to laugh, and Wizard says that they already know that they can't count on him for anything. After all, they are geniuses. Just then, Deadpool calls out to the group stating, Hey geniuses, if you're all so smart, why am I the only one wearing a life jacket? He pushes the button on the detonator and suddenly there's a series of booms. He says, oh, and by the way, if you really wanted to take the Hulk off the board, you just lift him off the ground a few inches with an anti-grav unit or something. He wouldn't be able to do crap! Anyways, adios, you evil nerds! He slams the hatch shut as he climbs back out, and everyone runs to try and escape. But as they pull on the door, it gets stuck. Claw tells everyone to back up, he's gonna open it, and Modok shouts for him to stop. But Claw fires a blast at the door, and the water begins to flood in. Outside of the ship, Deadpool speeds off, stating, Haha, and that's how it gets done! You know what, I'm... What? He looks back to see Trapster floating above him and Trapster tells him, anti-grav units. Thanks for the idea, Dingleberry. He starts to spray the lifeboat with glue and Deadpool jumps into the water to try and come up with a plan. But then Deadpool remembers that he's the one wearing the life jacket, which will just bring him back to the top anyway. So it gives him time to aim up and... He starts shooting out of the water, grazing Trapster, but as he surfaces for air, he sees several things thrown into the water. Deadpool asks, what the hell is that? And as he looks underwater, he notices that they're bombs, and he doesn't have his healing factor. Dagnabbit. The bombs go off, and Trapster gets back on his anti-grav unit when he sees Deadpool's body floating to the top, and he says, I did it. I did it! Oh my god, I beat Deadpool! Later, as Trapster returns to the others, Red Ghost says that he does realize that Deadpool will just come back, right? And Trapster tells him, so what? I'll beat him down again. I'm Trapster, the guy that beat Deadpool. Back out on sea, Deadpool pulls himself out onto the lifeboat, coughing up water, stating that he just had the crappiest dream ever. His pinky was blown off and he was destroyed by Pace Pot Pete. As he stands up, his brain tells him no. That happened. It was all real. Deadpool washes up, yelling to himself that it's all just a nightmare, and his brain tells him, no, dude, it happened. The question now is, are we gonna let it happen again? And Deadpool shouts, hell no! Two weeks later. Deadpool turns to the only person that knows more about his fighting style than anyone else, Taskmaster. Taskmaster asks, what do you want? And Deadpool tells him, I need you to train me to do what I normally do. Taskmaster says, that it doesn't make sense, Deadpool. How am I supposed to teach Deadpool to fight like Deadpool? Deadpool tells him, look, all I want is a little refresher course. And with your photo blah, blah, blah reflexes, it makes complete sense. Plus, with you being a merc as well, you know how business works. You want to stay on top, you gotta tighten your game. Taskmaster tells him, right. You want me to help you tighten your game. Are you gonna pay? And Deadpool tells him, nope. My ego simply wouldn't allow it. So Taskmaster stops for a moment and says, actually, the best kind of training is on the job training, and there's only one thing that we could do for that. 
A week later, out at the Secret Shield installation in Southern Nevada, Deadpool looks through his binoculars, asking, Really? Taskmaster tells him, Yeah. Ever wonder how S.H.I.E.L.D. is able to show up at a moment's notice with a ton of heavy ordnance mobiles and stuff like that? Pim particles. They use it to shrink things. That Ant-Man guy invented them so that he can miniaturize weapons and equipment for rapid deployment. That bunker over there, well, we're gonna rob it. Deadpool asks, why haven't you pulled this job off before? And Taskmaster says, because it's a two-man job and you're the only guy I want to do it with. Deadpool tells him that it's touching in a very uncomfortable kind of way. So how are we gonna do this? Taskmaster tells him, just like Deadpool fashion. You're gonna walk right up to the front door. And Deadpool asks, is that gonna work? And Taskmaster tells him, trust me, I've studied you for years. Half the jobs I've gotten away with were because I copied you. Just don't overthink it. You know why we're here, S.H.I.E.L.D. does it. By the time they figure it out, it's gonna be too late. Deadpool pauses and says, that uh, actually makes perfect sense to me. A few moments later, he begins to walk up towards the bunker and as he crosses the gate, the alarms begin to go off. A large robotic snake slithers out, stating, turn back immediately to avoid prosecution and or death. Deadpool asks, do you know who I am? And after a quick scan, it determines that he is in fact Deadpool. So it fires at him. He looks back to see where Taskmaster went and when he sees that Taskmaster is running into the bunker, he quickly realizes that maybe Taskmaster set him up. Meanwhile, over in Intelligentsia's hideout, Wizard tells Trapster that he can stop bragging now. Deadpool's already back at it again. Trapster asks, what is he doing? And Wizard pulls up a feed from the security cameras at that remote shield of bunker. Trapster watches and see Deadpool fighting, but he's still missing his pinky. If two weeks went by, why hasn't his pinky regrown? And then hits Trapster. He asks, where is that facility? Back over at the shield bunker, Deadpool shoots at the robots, thinking, Why don't you know you just leave? The old Deadpool could just stand here and get shot up, but this new one can't. It's like switching from a badass to a punk ass. He jumps up from behind a rock that he was hiding behind. He begins to shoot the robots, again wondering how Taskmaster is doing. Hopefully, just as bad. But inside the bunker, as Taskmaster opens up the crate with the pin particles, he begins to laugh, shouting, <laughs> I'm rich! But outside, Deadpool runs out of bullets, and as he tries to escape into the facility, one of the robots locks onto him and fires. But nothing happens. Deadpool looks back from inside the walls, asking, What jest? But Trapster's voice tells him, You're welcome! Now hope that sweet, sweet candy ass of yours is ready for another heinous beatdown. Trapster floats down, going on stating, I know your little secret. And Deadpool tells him, I know yours too, Pace Pot Pete. Trapster tells him, No one calls me that anymore. And Deadpool says, dude, everyone calls you that. Look, let me kick in a little more knowledge too. We're surrounded. Trapster looks around at all the new robots and Deadpool says, you should have brought a real gun, you dummy. And the robots begin to shoot at Trapster. So Deadpool takes this chance to also shoot at Trapster. But after missing his last four shots, the robots look at Deadpool and Deadpool quickly tosses his gun stating, whoa, I'm unarmed. The robot scans Deadpool and comes back with unarmed threat level low. The robots all begin to spin back, targeting Trapster, but Deadpool runs inside of the bunker stating, okay, if I were a bunch of science molecules, where would I be hiding? As he runs into the next room, he finds another robot snake, except bigger, much, much bigger. He sighs as he turns back and says, okay, can't save Taskmaster right now, gotta save Trapster. As he runs back outside, he tells Trapster, I'm gonna need your gun. The killer robots won't come after you once you're unarmed. Also, the boots, give me those too. Before Deadpool can run back out, Trapster stops him telling him, Thank you. And Deadpool tells him, hey, screw you. And then he promptly gives him the bird. Come after me again, I ought to make you into a one-man human centipede. So Deadpool takes his newly acquired glue gun and he runs back into the bunker and into the room with the giant robot. Using the magnetic boots, he jumps up and over the robot's blast and he sprays glue all over their heads. When the larger one tries to target Deadpool, it couldn't tell the difference between Deadpool and the other robots, so it starts to fire at everyone. Deadpool calls out to the lesser robots, asking if they're really gonna let him get away with that. And the smaller robots look at each other, and they start shooting at the larger one. Deadpool pulls his feet out of the boots, and he runs away shouting, INSERT BADASS ONE-LINER HERE! Down the hallway, Taskmaster peers out of a bathroom, stating, There you are. And Deadpool tells him, Yeah! And he punches Taskmaster. Taskmaster stumbles back, telling him, You stupid! I almost dropped the pin particles! And Deadpool tells him, Is that all you have to say? I could have died out there! All I was was a distraction for some stupid pimp particles. Taskmaster stares for a moment and says, Dude, these things make Ant-Man, well, Ant-Man. Just then there's a loud boom as the giant robot from before blasts a hole into the bathroom. Taskmaster says, You know what? Fine. I can't take the lead. Deadpool tells him, Sure, just follow me. And he punches the vial holding the pimp particles. Taskmaster grabs Deadpool shouting, You stupid freaking blah, 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 blah. And Deadpool tells him to chill. 
Deadpool then grabs Taskmaster and jumps through the particles, shrinking themselves, landing directly into the toilet. Later, after traveling down a really disgusting river of, well, grossness, Deadpool asks how long are they going to be tiny? Taskmaster tells him, not too much longer. But what's really bothering me is the smell. Deadpool says, yeah, I thought you'd be used to that seeing as you're a total turd and all. Taskmaster says, why are you acting all butthurt? You didn't just lose out on your biggest payday of your life. Deadpool shouts, I just saved your life. I don't have my healing factor anymore, so... And Taskmaster tells him, I know that. You only have nine fingers. You had nine fingers since last week. You losing your healing factor has the only explanation I could think of. Other than that, that nasty nail-biting habit of finally reaching a new level. You're probably angry about this whole thing, huh? And Deadpool says, give me a sec. Uh, yeah, I am. And Taskmaster tells him, good. Then the next part won't matter. So here it goes. Last week when you showed up, there was a call made and some money transferred. I sold you out to Black Box. Have fun with that. His name is Deadpool. He's crazy. He's kooky. He teamed up with Taskmaster. Now, anyway, what's happening next in Deadpool is we are leading to the eventual finale. I know I've ended many of these videos stating that Deadpool is going to die. And I forgot how many storylines are between Deadpool curing himself and dying. So we're going to get there. It's going to be more of this cured Deadpool who wants to die but doesn't and he's a real person again. So make sure you subscribe to our channel because you want to get more of these videos. You also get videos like Venom and you get videos like Spider-Man and you get more Marvel heroes over here. If you subscribe, give this video a like and let us know that what superheroes you want. Don't forget, we also have a Patreon where we kind of host our own podcast network, reviewing comic books, movies, talking about conspiracies, and just having a couple of beers and chatting with you guys on live streams. You can check that out at patreon.com slash comicstorian. We're using it as a way to support everything we do here at Comic Storian, Eligible Monster, and our Twitch, and we'd appreciate you joining the family over on that end. Now, on that, I'm going to sign off. See you later.